Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite alternatives to Quizlet. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's called Note. You'll find it at note.io. I've previously written a blog post about it, and you can find that linked up in the description down below. Let's jump into my account, which is completely free. Go to note.io. I'm in my account. And let's go ahead and see, first of all, in my home screen here, the Explore section where you can find notes and flashcards made by others. You can search by topic. You can even search by textbook. Or you can just go in and browse through. So I'm going to browse for U.S. history. And I'm going to just select here Civil War. And I'll see that this is a set of notes that were uploaded to the site back in June of this year. I can scroll through those notes. You can see some similar notes over here. And now let's go ahead and click on Flashcards where you can preview these flashcards. You can also go over here to flashcard itself and flip through those flashcards. And if I close out of that screen, I can go back over here and select learn and it will create some practice quiz type activities for me. And I can say, my target date is however long it takes me to learn it. Or I can set my target date of, let's say, like next Friday. And it will create some practice activities for me to do over the next couple of weeks. Now, if I go back to my note homepage, I can also go down to the bottom right-hand corner and create my own notes or flashcards. Let's just create some flashcards. And you can see you can even import from Quizlet or create a new set of flashcards from scratch. And let's go ahead and put in some sample flashcard information. Now here for my flashcard, I'm gonna create some flashcards about US history. If I start typing stamp act, note will try to auto predict that and it also auto predicts a definition for me that I can use. And you can see here, I could also add in an image if I wanted to add an image to my flashcard. Now let's add another one here. And maybe I'll put in quartering act. There we go. and I can write in my definition. Now, in this case, the note database didn't have anything about the quartering act, so I'm gonna to have to write my own definition. And so I've now filled in my definition, and I can keep adding more and more to this, but for now, let's add our, let's add our deck name and call it US history sample, and now, create it and you can see here I can tag my flashcards and I'm going to add my own school here and now we'll just hit continue and I have now created my flashcard set now, of course, I can go in and edit these at any time. I can now practice my flashcards or I can learn with a spaced repetition schedule. Let's say I want to learn these by Friday. And it now creates a little practice activity for me where I have to write in the back of the flashcard, the other side of the flashcard here. and see how I did. And I got it right, woohoo! So that is a short overview of note.io. You can also use it to 
import your documents and have flashcards automatically created for you. And that demo I have linked up in the description down below as well. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.